<sighs> okay, uh, power loss blog more so uh, we've been without power for about five days now I've uh, slept elsewhere I'm in some better health now so I've returned to the house to make sure it doesn't freeze over and I've been just burning wood like crazy cut up a whole bunch of stuff and it's just going quick but uh, I'm keeping it right now this is uh, about 17 C but there's a warm breeze blowing since we have the two uh, pretty strong fans blowing a bunch of aluminium fins there just to keep the air circulating trying to get as much energy out of the fire as possible burning with very little air burning quite slowly in there just trying to extract all the energy uh, because if, if, if we burn it quickly it'll just go straight out of the chimney and we'll never uh, see the seeds again it, it'll be all be for naught and I don't have a chance heating the whole house properly but uh, at least it's going to keep it above freezing because we're expecting some rougher weather again uh, so while I've been doing that uh, I've been kind of playing around with ideas for stuff to do so I've been in touch with a couple of telecoms uh, to source some new batteries since obviously what I have in here are no good anymore. Well, most of them anyway. I really do have an issue where some of them are very deeply discharged. We have the power on right now running on uh, really no power at all. Lost my multimeter somewhere. But we had like, yeah, about 46 volts in the battery bank there. Can we get focus on that? Ah, that's just border well impossible. This is not the right lens for close up video work. There you go, that's about 46 volts under 2 amps a load. Uh, 2 or 3 maybe. So we 2 amps of that, it's like barely 150 watts spread over. Uh, what's it going to be? 16 of these batteries, so these are very deeply depleted, all of them. Even though the solar, the solar has gained is perhaps 100, 200 watt hours per day since uh, thankfully the solar is still alive. We do have the low battery indicator going off there. Uh, bless you, TriStar, <laughs> with your 500 watts worth of solar in the middle of winter. Uh, but yeah, uh, since I have nothing much better to do, uh, I figured we'd uh, perhaps start revamping this battery box, or rather this a power box because uh, right now we have some uh, not very well put together uh, systems here so uh, these are the two battery breakers we have we have two three phase uh, 56 amp breakers so we have one for battery banks one to three and one for battery banks four to six and uh, this presents a few issues uh, since uh, First, we can't shut off individual battery strings, but just groups of three. And uh, these are 56 amp radios, so I need to run really, really thick, expensive wire uh, out to the batteries. We have like 50 square mils going there, because that's the only suitable stuff I had. And we have the zero volts for everything going for a giant uh, ground block there. And this is going to be a big breaker here, which is the main for everything. And uh, uh, what I want to do is replace these guys with just a shit ton of uh, uh, smaller ones. Uh, this is our auxiliary power connector. This is fine. This is 18 amps, uh, three times 18 amps, and this just goes down. Anderson connector that. So this is fine. Uh, the PV, this one is a bit too big. It's uh, what's that? 16 amps, three phase. So. That's way too big as well. We, uh, we do need uh, perhaps a 10 amp break. I get 8 amps out of the panels. So, but this could really be a single, uh, single uh, 10 amp breaker, not a triple uh, 10 amp adjustable uh, motor protection. It, it's just way overkill. And I do have a solution for that. If we Managed to get out of here alive. We do have a bunch of batteries. I should 
These like big grey batteries should be in pretty decent condition. I've, I've kept them charged for barely used. So I'm probably just going to swap those in until the telecoms uh, get a chance to feed me some leftovers from this bat. That's going to be so many dead batteries coming since. Uh, uh, since the power outage is gonna be rather revealing. But to fix my brakey problem, uh, I have this. Uh, this is actually a 48 volt uh, giant power supply. Uh, I've been intending to basically replace my solar uh, battery, uh, also the solar and electricity box with this. Uh, this goes in a huge rack which is like too tall to fit in the building uh, but I'm, I was going to cut that up into like a reasonable chunk and just replace everything with this but it's going to be a fair amount of work and uh, this thing is just a charger with these being the outputs the uh, connectors and uh, it takes a bunch of these modules up here so these are 10 amp uh, a 10 amp uh, 48 volt uh, charger modules uh, controlled by this controller. So, you, what are these? Uh, 1.3 kilowatt rated, yeah. So, these uh, guys uh, are built to power giant telecom uh, systems. And they're, but they're, they're excellent for charging batteries, but I'm not going to be using these a lot. I'm just going to be using them, uh, for instance, I'm probably going to hotwire a bunch of them up to charge the battery bank when we get power back. Uh, just because uh, uh, that's the fastest charger uh, for 48 volt systems I have around. But really, these are for, for everyday use, I didn't need them. So I'm uh, pretty fine just uh, grabbing a bunch of these uh, circuit breakers out of this box. And we have a nice selection, they shouldn't be used much either. We have one, two, three, f three, six amps. One, two, three, four, five, five, ten amps. Uh, one, two, three, three, sixteen amps, and one, two, three, sixty-three amps, two, thirty-two amps, and there was a twenty amp there. So we have a good selections. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to think about rewiring uh, the battery banks with uh, some thinner wire, uh, like uh, one point five or two point five square millimeter out of my selection of used wiring here. Yeah, I'm not sure what exactly I have. Over 3.5. Yeah, oh gosh, there's, there's so much. I should have something like some 2.5 square millimeter stuff enough to wire the whole battery rack up with individual wiring for each battery string. And uh, well, I'll just uh, grab a bunch of these and uh, pull each battery string individually into one of the 10 amps or 16 amps. Can probably do 16 amps, even though, yeah, 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 I probably want to do as many 16 amps as possible. How many we have? One, two, three, three 16 amps. Yeah, so I'm going to do like three 16 amps and the rest 10 amps. Or maybe use one of the 20s, so, yeah, something, I'll figure it out. But yeah, move it to smaller breakers and uh, uh, get a bit of a more flexible system. Uh, so yeah. Probably gonna refill some firewood and uh, just start working on that, I guess. Nothing better to do around here. Okay, and uh, there we have a giant breaker block with its huge extruded din rail on the bottom there. Pretty decent stuff. This whole thing is made in Sweden, I believe. Very high quality, very custom, very nice. Very expensive when it was new. Uh, <laughs> Feels like such a shame to recycle because it's such a nice construction. But uh, yeah, I think we need to figure out how to get this apart. So this part just fell off, huge copper rail, and uh, someone's gone whoops there on one of the rails. We forgot it was uh, positive ground on telecom stuff. <laughs> Whoopsie. But yeah, don't need that. So. I'm not sure how we're gonna really get this, so we have this stuff on board with some uh, management stuff. This just uh, seems to keep track of everything, which outputs are enabled and which aren't. Uh, but how to actually get rid of this is gonna be a bit of a mystery. Probably have to just undo everything, really destroy this whole thing. 
It'll fall apart if I undo enough screws, I'm sure. And there we go, it's all out. So, it was just a thought I had to undo a bunch of screws, pry this board out, and it basically just collapsed in on itself. So we have all right, 10 and 16 and breakers and the uh, 63 and one just uh, committed suicide. I think it's just been held in by the label and tape there. <laughs> And uh, we'll have a spare loose 63 and breaker. Nothing wrong with that. So, these seem, they should be enough. So we have one, two, three, four, five I want for the battery strings. And then we have one for the PV and two extra there. So we have enough breakers to go around. Now we just need to figure out how to actually fit those into the old uh, rack. I think that's not going to be a problem. Uh, what is going to be a problem is uh, doing that while uh, still retaining power to my fans there because if I don't have fa power to those plastic fans uh, uh, they're going to go on fire so we can't just shut everything down and work on it uh, we need to figure something out in the meantime well uh, we really can't easily uh, do you know, the battery break as well while we're running on the system since I really need to get in there and uh, mess with all the wiring, disconnect the battery banks and uh, I probably want to be swapping batteries at the same time since we just have different uh, stud sizes so I want to do that part of the wiring properly so we're not going to be doing the battery breakers right now in the cold without power uh, but I did do the uh, oh, what's the focus on this one? the PV breaker, I'll look at that I just shoved it right at the edge and we've saved pretty much half the width of that thing and we've added a stopper as well that wasn't there before. So we really do have some decent space savings on using these thinner style uh, breakers. Uh, they're not probably going to be all that much better for the battery since we need actually to have uh, pretty much, well, uh, five or six of them but we can get away we can't get away with smaller that because we need to have a whole bunch of smaller like the blue uh, coupling block down there we need to have a bunch of those uh, to hook everything together uh, for, for, for battery negatives and this guy's going to remain the same of course uh, so yeah a uh, bit of progress at least <sighs> oh, cold so cold working in all still like this yeah, I think that's what we're going to get done uh, tonight. It's uh, 9 in the evening. I need to be getting away to my place of sleep since I'm um, obviously not going to be spending the night here. Unless I really, really have to. So, yeah, that's uh, part one of uh, revamping the solar system in the dark.